In this video demonstration, we're going to see how to join Windows Server 2016 to a domain. Before joining the server to the domain, you need to give it a unique name to identify your server on the network. Check my last video on how to rename Windows Server 2016 server using Server Manager Console. You will also need to set up the IP address of the server. If you have a DSCP server, then you can skip this step. However, I do prefer to have each of my servers with a static IP address. So let's assign a static IP address on our server name lab sav one Let's click on IP version 4 address by DHCP. This will open network connection console. Select the Ethernet adapter and right click on it and select properties. Let's assign a one static IP version 4 address to this server. I'm going to give the IP address 192.168.205. This is the IP address for our server and let's assign a gateway's IP address and in my case that is 192.168.101 and let's assign the IP address for our DNS server. This is the, my domain controller and as you can see the name of my computer is lab dc one our domain name is mprtv.lab and the IP address of our server is 192.168.1.201. And we have a DNS server rule installed on this server as well. So let's uh, assign the IP address of our DNS server. It's 192.168.1.201. Let's click on OK button. Let's click on close. And let's click on close to close this network connection console as well. Now on a server manager, let's click on refresh. Okay, now here you can see the IP address of our server is 192.168.1.205. Now let's check the network connectivity with our DNS server as well. Let's ping to our DNS server's IP address and that is 192.168.1.201. As you can see, we are receiving a replace from our DNS server as well. So we have a network connectivity with our DNS server. Before you start, Joining your Windows Server 2016 to a domain, make sure that you can resolve the Active Directory domain name by using DNS. And for that, I'm going to ping to my domain name. So in our case, that is mprtv.lab. That is the name of our domain. Remember, there is no need to include the name of any particular domain controller. Let's ping to our domain name and here. We can see we are receiving a replay from the IP address 192.168.1.201 and that is the our domain controller. Once you have established that DNS resolution is working currently, now let's move on to our server manager again. Let's click on workgroup. Let's click on change button. Under member of select domain. Right now this server is the member of our workgroup. Now let's specify the name of our domain, in our case that is mprtv.lab. Let's click on OK. You will be asked to type the credential of a username that has a required permission to add computers to the domain. I am using domain admin's user account. And for that I am going to specify the username of our administrator and the password as well. You can use credential of another user account with the permission to add computers to the domain and then Click on OK button. If you entered correct username and password with the required permissions, then you will successfully join the server to the domain. Let's click on OK. You will be prompt to restart the computer to apply changes. Let's uh, click on OK. And uh, here you can see a uh, warning message is there. Changes will take effect after you restart this server. Let's click on close. And finally, you will be presented again with a dialog box to restart your machine. Let's click on Restart Now. Once the computer has rebooted, let's log on as Domain Administrator. Let's click on uh, Other User. You can then log on to the server as a Domain User. On this server, we want to log on as a Domain Administrator. And that's why I am going to specify the username of our Administrator. And here we have to specify our user's UPN name. Let's specify the password and then press enter button. Once you log in to your member server as a domain administrator, let's click on a local server on a server manager dashboard. 
and here we can see now this server is a part of our domain name mprtv.lab. So in this way we can join Windows Server 2016 to a Windows Server 2016 Active Directory domain.